using leftover paint from a painting I did about a week ago. And what I'm doing today is kind of a follow-up to that because I'm gonna use basically all the same colors because they've been sitting here for a week and I need to use them up. So I don't have all the colors exactly, So, but I will describe the process I'm doing. That one's empty. Um, this is kind of a takeoff on um, the floating cup pours that Sarah Taylor and Sarah Mack have done and a few other artists. Uh, my base is a house paint, and in this case, I'm using Color Place, and it is, let me grab it, it is Color Place Interior Paint Ready to Use Satin White. And um, I mixed this up, like I said, about a week ago in here. Still need to get it out and stir it. Um, but it's mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, I think it's about two parts Floetrol to one part paint. And then um, I can't remember exactly how much water I added, but um, definitely it's pretty um, a pretty thin consistency. Um, maybe almost as thin as what you do for a Dutch pour, although I'm not... Um, I'm not a Dutch pour artist per se. I haven't done very many of them, so. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty thin. These paints are also all Floetrol and paint, similar um, two to three parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then usually just a dab of water in each one. They are they are also pretty runny, at least from the um, perspective of how I usually do things, which I usually leave my paints pretty thick when I do like cup copper ring pours so anyway um and the idea is that I'm going to flood the canvas with the white and then I'm gonna kind of do kind of a patchwork of stuff and kind of move it around on the canvas and then add to it and drag through it and yeah it's kind of it's kind of a whole process and I did one the one I did that I'm going to post here is it came out really cool so anyway, most of my colors are uh, blues and greens and golds. In fact, that's all I've got. I did add a little red last time and I ended up like pouring most of it off and then I ended up pouring over some areas they had. I just didn't like the, um, the reddish color that I had added. In fact, I forgot and left my, ooh, great. Forgot to put a lid on it. I just noticed. Maybe it's still good. I'm not gonna use it today, but I think it was a magenta but um, I just peeled the, I just peeled the dry stuff off the top and stirred it up. So anyway, maybe I'll do a pink pour next time, but it's been sitting there for a week. That's crazy. Okay, so I have a couple shades of, of gold. This one is an iridescent um, gold. I think it's Liquitex. Anyway, all the colors are in the last video. And then this is 24K gold. Um, this is Naples yellow. And um, I have a couple of greens. This one I think is Peridot, which is Extreme Sheen. And this is like an olive green. I can't remember, can't remember which brand. Um, and wow, this one's bright, a brightish, very deep, um, I don't remember the shade of this either, but definitely green. Um, this one is possibly the Aquamarine, which is this one. It's sitting here, so I'm pretty sure that's what I used. Um, this one is probably my um, Prussian Blue Thalo, which is Amsterdam. This is a white mix. It's different than the base that I'm gonna use. This white mix has um, DecoArt Pearl White. It's got some DecoArt um satin enamel or chalk paint i can't remember which one and then it's got my artist loft flow white so it's um anyway it's a white mix different from this just because this one is just the house paint with the flow trunk stuff this one has some other stuff in it all righty um let me get my canvas set up and we'll get going here see what we're gonna do be right back i am using a 16 by 20 it's a level three canvas and um, I'm gonna take my white and I've kind of I kind of sealed it up in this cup. I don't have a huge amount left. 
Um, so at some point we may have to make some more. But hopefully between this and all the other stuff we'll have enough. Um, so I'm going to make a few little layered cups of um, stuff. And I'm going to... I'm gonna use really small cups because I think my last one I felt like um, it was just a lot of I, I wanted more negative space I think than what I ended up with I, I really like what I ended up with but I think a little more negative space might be good so I'm gonna make up a few small cups and I'm gonna start them all with a little white because so I'm gonna probably make them each a little different but and I'm gonna do gold in two of them. And I'm just gonna, it's not gonna be a perfect, you know, like everything the same kind of thing. This is the other gold. This one's more of an iridescent. And um, this is my Naples yellow. And let's see, is there anything else in this one? Um, you know, maybe my blue, because blue and yellow make green. <laughs> Just a little. Oh, the other thing I have is I have black. I forgot about that. This is oxide black, and it's set up like a, a cell activator. So it's got Floetrol, flow a little water, and then all I did was dip my stick in this Minwax pre-stained wood conditioner. I just dipped the stick in there, and then when I put it in here, that's just to... Um, help make it into a cell activator. Um, and I'm not very good with swipes either, so this is kind of a new one for me as well. So let's see. I think I'm going to do the greens and stuff in these cups here. And I might do them just slightly different. I'm going to do one and then do the other one. Go. Let's do the darker blue. This one I'm gonna do a little bit different order. And maybe a little bit of the dark. And this one doesn't have very much paint. I wonder if I should just put a little more of that and a little bit of that with this again. And a little of the iridescent. Okay. We're going to probably come back to these paints. Um, that's kind of um, part of the process was like adding a little bit as I went along. So see if I can move these out of the way enough not to end up. Eh. Anyway. Lots and lots and lots. Ah. I'm just afraid I'm going to end up getting stuff in here because um, once I start tilting, the paint goes everywhere. Okay. And these little guys, I'm just going to sneak them up on the corner here. Hopefully, I won't knock them off. That's a possibility, too. Okay. Let me grab some gloves. And. I should probably put my apron on. That might be good. So I'm gonna just don't have a lot of that left, so I'm gonna use my glove and spread this around. So um, because this is a house paint satin enamel. I think um, it helps with cells and a little bit kind of like the um, bloom technique, I think, is kind of kind of how it's ended up. Okay, so I'm going to save this right here. I'm going to switch out this glove. Um... 
I might need a little of that later, so. Um, let's see. Gonna, this and a couple of the blues. This is what I did last time. So I'm gonna I don't know. I'm kind of doodadding. <laughs> and then I'm going to This is um I'm just creating a little bit of a palette to work on. So we'll see how that goes. tilting it away here. Okay, I'm going to tilt it just again towards me. Let me swing this around so you guys can see. I'm just sort of stretching this liquidy paint just to kind of create a little bit of a palette on here. I'm gonna so I have my little cups I'm gonna do I'm not sure what order I want to do these I kind of want to do a flip cup I think I might just to see what happens I'm gonna flip one of these it's very little I'm just gonna see see how that one works out um, in the meantime, I think I'm gonna let's try to pour this one on. Okay, so a little bit of paint here. So let me We're actually getting, you can't, probably can't see it, but we're getting a lot of um, selling going on there. Um, okay, let me see what my flip cup is doing over here. And let me just drag it right off. Um, let me, ooh, getting some cool cells from that too. I'm going to try to stretch this over here. So maybe I'll do another little flippy over here. <laughs> ah, I just spilled a lot of my weight. Ah, dang it. Darn it. Okay. My hands get kind of slippery in this, um, <laughs> in these gloves. So anyway, let's flip this other one over here. I'm going to let that one sit for a minute while I wet my hands again. Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to use it over here and I'm going to go along the edge of that and maybe There we 
go. Um, this is kind of cool so far. We'll see, see what happens here. Definitely need to sort this one out. That one was a little different. <laughs> so let me um, stretch that one a little. Of stretching everything, of course. Okay, that's kind of fun. Let me find my torch and see what happens with that. I really like the selling that's going on here. I don't know if you guys can see this well. I think so. Um, I think I'm going to make one more cup with the um, gold colors because I want to add a little bit around this one and maybe on the inside here. Um, I don't know. I need to balance it a little bit, I think. So let me little bit of light. Just do, I'm trying not to spill here. Gold. Do yellow and then this is the iridescent gold. And I think I'm gonna add to this one I did get the dark blue, so I'll do that too. And then I'm going to do a little bit of the um, aquamarine. So this one's kind of different, but okay. These little cups came with um, a resin kit that I bought a while ago, so. Okay, so now I have to convince myself not to overwork this. So we'll, um, we'll look at seeing what we can do now with the, um, the black cell activator. And I'm wondering if I should stretch this just a little more. Um, Also wondering if I should add some more green through the middle, but I think I'll look at that in a, in a few minutes and not worry about it right now. Um, I have a couple little doodads to swipe with. Um, I'm gonna put the activator on here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but um, just use it as like a little palette. this and I think I do want my pointed one this one is just not not what I want and I know it's got to be around here I probably just dropped on the floor let me, let me work with this a little more and
Okay, I'm gonna take some of my greens and I'm gonna come through the middle here. And then I just, um, I like the green on the outside and I think I want a little more. So I'm gonna work my way through here. much left but just enough to get it over there okay let me look underneath here just in case my little tool is underneath nope 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 okay so now I'm gonna stretch again just a little I'm gonna see if I can okay. Okay, I'm just trying to create some cells in here with the black. kind of doing what I did before. I think I ended up with just a little bit too much paint, but um, I'm gonna try and swipe through this and then I might go back over it with some what I just did there but that wasn't good I think my finger went through it <laughs> so we're just gonna have to swipe over it up to This is just too much over here, so I'm gonna put some white over this. And then we're gonna tilt it off. Swipe through there. This lacing is so pretty, so pretty.
I can tilt it off first. Let me try that. Just got too much paint over there and I'm gonna tilt off and then I'm gonna probably add some white. And I'm about to dump that, so yeah, I don't have a lot of this white left, but we're gonna I'm gonna swipe first, maybe. I definitely feel like my pointy tool looks a little bit better for this, but I'm just gonna have to order some. So yeah, I'm gonna be tilting this. So right at the moment, I'm just kinda using this space to create something, but not um, too worried about it being perfect, because I'm gonna be tilting it. And it might all go off anyway. That's kind of cool. Um, hmm. So maybe a little white up in here. Definitely running out of white. And a little up in here. Okay. This is, I'm down to just some drips in here, but um, I might lose some of this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. a little bit better. Um, um, I'm going to use a little this white right here to
guys are enjoying this. It's kind of fun. Like if you feel like you're being a little more um, creative because, you know, working on the composition. But composition is one of the areas that I am not as good at. I sort of go sometimes it's just what turns up at the end and sometimes I don't give it a lot of thought. So this is kind of fun, but still something I'm learning. So this is just, I'm just dipping it in the paint and just dragging little tiny fine lines through just to try and add a little bit of dimension. So I hope you can kind of see how I was inspired by some of the other artists, but you know, it's just not exactly like what they do, but I'm, the, uh, I guess the idea is similar. Perfect. Okay, guys, let me bring you down to see it. Okay, guys, here's the close-up. It's a little heavy in the middle again, but um, it's lots of lacing. Um, I, think, I think I have a good cell activator figured out, actually. I might go and try a bloom one of these days. So I guess you could call this a little bit of a modified bloom. Definitely modified, because I don't have any uh, polycrylic or anything in it. But um, anyway, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot. Thanks. Bye.